Hey everybody, why is it rotten to tell someone they're poor because of when they had kids? I'm sure a lot of you have answers that you can give even before you read the Philip Cohen column, but what Philip Cohen, a demographer at the University of Maryland, whose articles you will be reading from time to time in this class, um, what Philip Cohen does is he says, here's what the argument has been for people to be blamed for their poverty. They should follow what's called a success sequence, a success sequence that's described in his article and described in uh, my notes for you is simply about the timing of life events. Complete your education, get married and have a full time job all before you have children. This Sequencing is something that a lot of policymakers have emphasized, and we'll come across it again later in the unit in our course in, in the fifth week when we talk about the marriage movement. But the success sequence has been people's explanation for why some families do better or worse than others. What Philip Cohen does is he looks at the evidence. He looks at other people's work looking at the evidence and he says, well, it turns out that the success sequence really isn't what makes people more or less successful. And then he identifies what are the things that help people to survive. And it's basically a completed education and a job. The timing of if any marriage or children has less to do with success. So he demonstrates that, but he goes on to the reason what motivates his writing, what you'll see is that he's got a perspective on epistemology or how people use evidence, and he's got a perspective on normativity or how people use their um, systems, uh, their implicit systems of how people are expected to be, what constitutes a good way of life. So when you write about Philip Cohen, which you'll be doing for your posts on Thursday and follow up on Friday, when you write about this, you want to zero in on the facts that Philip Cohen expresses, the argument that he expresses, and then a perspective on that that's detailed in your discussion board instructions. So I just wanted to give you a little introduction to the piece and uh, you've got some good short reading to do for your post for tomorrow and uh, let me know what questions you have. Take care. Bye.